you have reached review time with Imperial and today's review is No Way Up 2024. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. So um, this is a straight B movie in the spirit of shark movies. You know, I always re uh, review shark movies on this channel. So every now and again, I catch a, a shark movie. I watch it. So let's just go over the cast right quick with this. There's really nothing to this movie. Um, so you got uh, Colin Meany plays as Brandon. Will Attenborough plays as Kyle. Jeremy Amore plays as Jed. Sophie McIntosh plays as Ava. Grace Nettle plays as Rosa. Memphis Logan plays as Marty. James Carroll Jordan plays as Hank. And that's pretty much the, oh yeah, uh, Manu Pacific plays as... Uh, Danilo, and that's pretty much the uh, cast right there. So um, this movie gets it kind of gets straight to it. So in this movie, you got um, the main character Ava, her boyfriend Jed, his friend Kyle. That's who you see in the beginning. They all at the airport. Ava has a um, bodyguard. I forgot what her dad is. Her dad is like a senator or something, governor or whatever he is. And she has his bodyguard. And the familiar actor who plays his, uh, her bodyguard, Cole Meany, plays his um, Brandon, who's her um, trusting bodyguard to the family. So they're on a flight and you also have another couple older couple with their granddaughter Rosa and they're on a flight as well then you had the stewardess um Danilo so only point out the people that pretty much stand out everybody else that's on the plane is uh um not on a not alive for long so the plane goes up in the air and Kyle one of the friends pretty much pointed out the plane look kind of old and shabby and so they pretty much was like man tell him like man be like be quiet man don't be saying that while we're on the plane so he did kept looking at the plane looking at it looking shabby however some birds got into the uh, into the plane where it flies and caused a malfunction and then instantly everything with the crap the plane started to split open. People started to fly out the plane. So it was only left to the main characters, the group that was going to survive. So the plane was going down abruptly and it submerged in the Pacific Ocean. And it went down instantly. Of course, the plot was dead. The plane split kind of in two. And where the main characters was, while the plane was submerged underwater, their part of the plane hasn't submerged yet. So it, um, well, no, it was underwater, but they still had air in their section. So now it was a race before the air roll out. And how do they get back to um, up top to survive? Now, and of course, they did have some hope. Of course, the plane went down. Notifications were put out there, black box and everything like that. It's going to take a while for some people to get out there and help them. So do they survive? What do they do to survive before this plane fully goes under and, no, and there's no more air or water? So they start thinking of all the different things that they could do to survive. Thinking about who was on the plane. Was it first aid kits? Was there um, like any life um uh, tools like life. Um, what I'm thinking of, life vests. Yeah, life vests or anything like that on board. So instantly, what happened is the um character that we were familiar with that I pointed out, uh, Brandon Cole Meany, he died right off the back by a shark killed him. So it's the shark lurking around this crash, and so the shark is tearing people up eating um, everything it can get a hold of, and it comes into the boat as well. 
So that's what they're up against. So they're figuring the boat is starting to slip further. And while the boat is starting to slip further, they got to make a move and get out of there. So everybody's pretty much getting plucked off one by one by the um, shark. And uh, Jed went first. He got bit. He got his leg. Uh, that Jed is Ava's boyfriend. He got bit in his leg. And, of course, he bled out. And Ava had to show her courage. So Rosa, her grandparents, her grandpa died right off the um, right off the gate. Her grandma was a good swimmer. However, the grandma felt she would slow them um, down if she went out into the main ocean to try to get above. So she, when the plane finally went under with her, she pretty much just died with the plane. So it was left with um, Ava, Rosa, Danello, and Kyle. Kyle ended up getting killed as well with the shark. The plane finally went under. And then uh, Rosa and Danello and Ava was alive. And Rosa and Danello was able to um, go ashore while Ava stayed down to distract the shark. So Danello and Rosa was able to go and get help. When the um, helicopter safety team, Coastal Guard came, they was able to get pulled up. However, Ava was still down and she ran out of oxygen, but she eventually floated up. And when she floated up, they seen her and was able to pull her up pretty much the end of the movie. So it wasn't nothing to this movie, nothing over the top, just the circumstances of them being submerged in the water and what do they uh, how to figure out who's going to survive and the shark just plucked them off one by one. Uh, this is one of those movies that you watch because you don't have nothing else to watch and you like shark movies and you're just bored. Out of my four points um, uh, rating system, I give it 1.5 out of four stars. It's not the worst movie um, and definitely not, you know, Nothing I'm, I encourage you just to watch. If you're bored and you come across it, watch it. You can watch it probably on play platforms like Prime Video, Voodoo. Um, it might even be free on YouTube or something like that. So other than that, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Till next time.